Hello and welcome back to our Shooter Bot AI series. This is episode 3 and in this episode we'll be adding some uh, nav mesh modifiers to add more importance to some areas of the map. So in this episode let's go over what a nav mesh modifier is. So as you may know a nav mesh is when we push P this green thing that you see all over your map. This is the navigational mesh for the AI. Basically, if it's green, it means that the AI can see it and can navigate along it. If it goes over to the dark green border, it means it can't cross that border. So as long as they are connected, it can reach these points. Now, we can actually use a nav mesh modifier to change how these points react. Now, there are some pre-built uh, made uh, nav mesh modifiers, and we'll go through some of them. Uh, and then we'll go through how to create our own. So let's talk about first of all what the nav mesh is and how it works. So for this, I'm going to turn on some settings so you can see it a bit clearer. I'm going to go into Edit Product Settings and I'm going to go down to the Navigational Mesh and I'm going to turn on Draw Poly Edges and close this. And here you can see what is actually happening. When you build a nav mesh, what it's doing is building a grid of squares like this. And when it gets to non-square shapes, it just cuts and intersects it with vertices to get filled in triangles and other other uh, grids. And what it does, each grid space uh, is a score. And if the AI has to get from point A to point B, it calculates what is the shortest route based on the score. So how many of these path points does it have to go through to reach its destination? And the more complex the path, the more costly it will be. Pretty simple, right? Well, our nav mesh modifier can actually change how these values react. So let's show you a couple of examples. If I go into my place actors list on the left here and go nav mesh modifier, you'll see nav modifier volume. I can drag this out like so. Now the default is a null object. You can see it's on the right hand side with the drop down null. And null means it will uh, exclude that area from the nav mesh, which you can see it happening here, how that's working. And you can resize it, reposition it, however you like. Click on the drop down, you'll see a couple more options. You've got low height, and this means that it's a position that can only be accessed from short agents or short characters. You'll saw null, and then you've got obstacle. Now obstacle means these are to be avoided, and they sort of work like null objects, um, but they can be overridden um, based on certain parameters, but they basically work the same as null objects. And I'm going to now go show and uh, show you how to make your own one. So let's go right click and add a blueprint class. Go to all classes at the bottom here and do a nav mesh uh, modifier. Uh, sorry, nav mod. If uh, what's it called? Nav modifier. Nav area. Sorry. There we go. Got it right in the end. So nav area is what you want here. We we'll close this and choose nav area. And we'll do nav area and we'll make it and call it cheap. So nav area underscore cheap. And open this up. And you can put your own code in here and things like that. However, what we're going to do is simply just change the cost. And you see that on the class default on the right hand side, default cost is one. I'm going to change that to 0.1. One or oh, actually, let's do 0.001. So it's really, really cheap to walk through this area. Hit compile and close that. And then with this nav mesh modifier volume, I'm going to go to the right hand side to the drop down and choose my new nav area cheap option. And you can see how it's colored it differently. And that area now is now a cheap area for it to run through. So if I place that over this bridge here. What it's going to do essentially is say this bridge is super cheap for it to run on, so prioritize it maybe as the route. So I'll stretch that across there. And that is now a cheaper route for it to travel well. And you can see the cost being changed as well. If I go to edit project settings again and I go into the navigational mesh, I can see the costs. So if I tick the uh, draw default polygon cost. Turn that on. And in there you can see the numbers for each polygon cost. And you can see here the ones for the pink area here are 0 0.001. That means it costs 0 0.001 to travel through this. 
and everything else in green is going to be equal to one. So if I push play on this, the AI will be now be more inclined to follow the bridge rather than anywhere else because it is now cheaper. It sees it as a, as a shortcut. So it would cut through here more so. Now this is beneficial in a couple of ways, but for bots, it's a good way to ensure we, we try and push bots into a location that is uh, more favorable for gameplay purposes. So it's quite a good one to use uh, to kind of force their hand a little bit and direct them into their position. Other things you may want to do is say you want to put it on an area that you want the uh, the area for the nav uh, for the bot or AI to um, favor a particular area more so than others. That may be a, a good way to go there. Um, if you want it to avoid like water, that's a good way of doing it there. Uh, so if you've got like water animals, but not water, and and also not water animals, you can make it do the same sort of thing there. Um, it, you've got quite a few options you can do with it. Uh, but that's all I wanted to show you today in this episode. So we added this nav mesh modifier here to this bridge. It gives them a bit more uh, of a uh, of a cheaper route. And so you can place these wherever you like. You can make them as big as you like. Um, the world's your oyster. And that's it for this episode. So in the next episode, what we're going to do is start getting our bot here to start attacking us. So he will attack us on site and follow and give chase to us. So join us in the next episode over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all of my videos before anyone else all from just one dollar. Big thank you to all of my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. It really is amazing and I thank you so much. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.